dirt. I like, the, I like the pyra here. I like the pyra here. It will From be. Jin. It will be a good, my, nice, uh, crazy, just massive hitbox. Yeah, extra. Battle yeah, I was gonna say extra out. hitboxes here or there for both of the players here, and that extendo sword isn't gonna come in that much handy against this pyramenter. Instantly getting into some special stuff and. Uh, Obviously, taking aerial supremacy over that. Yeah, the aerial game for Jin gonna be so strong here. Jin probably just so happy to not be playing this pick as well on Wi-Fi. So much easier to control. Actually, does the things that you want for it to do, especially when you sit on this. Oh, I think we just went into a different dimension right there. 100. Oh. I know. With a grab. Jin definitely feels like it's in a different dimension after that one. <laughs> the grab tree just sent me to a different place, man. These two competitors are going to go blow for blow in this, so keep their eyes on the screen. Beautiful back here. You're over here, and so is my sword. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the sword being half the <laughs> battlefield really is just crazy to me, but. Love to see a lab to Sephiroth, and that's what we're getting to witness here on Ronnie. Going to be still the pirate, the uh, Mithra for now, but there goes the pirate as I was mentioning it. It's going to be 131 on the side of the Sephiroth, so you want to get one of these bigger, more devastating hitboxes out that this pirate does provide. Great mid range abuse coming out from Ronnie, though, to make it so difficult for Jin to get any. Killing blow out of this pit. Great yeah. scoop off the ledge, oh. but it's reversed. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, the the ledge control by Ronnie cannot be overstated there, but Jin does get that first kill. Or, yeah, his first kill. And uh, he's got a long way to go. Running into those back airs, though, isn't going to help him. This pirate needs to put in some work. Got to get it cooking. Gotta be a Pyrex. <laughs> yeah. Bone plates. Raise the blades. Oh, Ronnie cutting up the competition. against the screen now as Ronnie does get a second stock in the pocket of the one winged angel. Going to be now a Nair train oh. that we have been accustomed to. Three Nairs is, seems to be the limit on this Sephiroth. After that, probably too difficult uh, with the spacing and the time that you have to get there. Yeah, it's definitely a lap combo. Had a great option of Nito. If Jin would have misplayed that tech situation in any way, would have been oh. a devastating up smash. But to the same tune, now we see Jin with the advantage state doing an amazing job. A great rising fair oh, from Ronnie, which is going to make he's Jin doing too like much. He has to block this beautiful parry. Oh my god, Tyler Perry. Oh, Katy Perry. Oh. Beautiful stuff here, gets the throw into center stage, follows it up. I'm Jin. so curious how many carries you have lined up. Oh, throw that sword in a circle. Gets it going. Jin. Oh, doesn't win though. Jin, no win. So close. He really had something cooking up there. No better busting me up with the references <laughs> yeah. over here. I, can't I got my man in stun lock, my bad. <laughs> Yo, your jab lock to me, <laughs> hit me with the down smash. Um, what a great game from Ronnie, yeah. though, showing how potent this Sephiroth is. The Pyro Mithra will be picked again by Jin. We're in winner semi, so you'll have an opportunity to reverse sweep if you would like to go back to that Roy, and he drops his game. But I know he does not have that in his sights at all. Looking to get a town and city win here on this Pyro Mithra. And we yeah. know it can happen, because as you can see here, he has a great understanding of the character. Yeah, best of five and you're on your map, this is the one you want to win. You know, this is the Lakers going home for their home game. If you want to put sports about it. But yeah, I just really feel like uh, Ronnie's ledge control and some of the things he's gotten so good at this Sephiroth character. Uh, one of the newer characters, I feel like, so nice to see. Ha you know, has it been... Oh! Shotgun loaded up. It was cocked. It was ready to go. I swear. And there was a first stock stolen, given. Yeah. Jack. Just God smacked. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely ledge. how that felt. 100% uh, agree with you there. Hit like a truck. Love what Jin's doing. Just playing uh, his a pressure uh, game here. It does seem like Ronnie playing a bit more patient. He's gonna have to block that. Does. Nice little jab.
jab out. Jab. Coxon there could have went with the grab, but knew that he's going to get a bit more out of this higher health. Ronnie with that jab lock. Going to be more and more, uh, I mean, rapid jabs. Going to be a bit more pressure from Ronnie. How do you DI that, button. man? But how did you even know it was coming? Uh, 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 uh. People are getting so comfortable <laughs> on that recovery. And ledge. Hello. Just on ledge in general. Everybody on ledge today is doing wild stuff. I'd love to see a let a raider come through Vegas <laughs> smash no. here in the Dude, spring. Bro. We had it, yes, uh, last week. We had um, uh, I can come through from Chicago. He did very well in the tournament. Obviously, oh, I can is on go. The show don't go. Oh! <laughs> How do you even come and take this man? My man is slamming at the ledge. These ledges are not safe on a Friday. Baby. Uh -huh. Knock. What direction? Down, baby. Knock. Down. Beautiful stuff coming out from the side of both of these players on ledge. About this to get Ronnie and Jin a dare to dare shirt after this experience. I bro. dare you to move on ledge, man. Ooh, ooh. Back air. Almost pokes it out. We've seen Ronnie in this situation before against Caius, sitting a bit on the back foot and able to still stabilize it. Will he be able to do this against Jin on this game too? Pyramithra, uh -huh. this Aegis switch-up has been proving to pay off dividends, but the kid of option is red. Ronnie gets At this the point, just go to the, the, the platform, right? Like, you've had so many back airs at ledge, man. Uh, but yeah, Jin sitting in the driver's seat of that game and continuing to put on damage and get his kills early is what wins him that there. But both players uh, going haymaker to haymaker there on ledge. Uh, good on Jin for cleaning that one up on his counter map. Yeah, great stuff shown from beginning to end. Really uh, making that counter pick. That's going to be the theme of the night, I guess. The counter picks actually working for people. And in this instance, we see it work again. So. Sephiroth, uh, Pyramidra, goes for the song see this five times. There. Goes for the song change there, doesn't pick live and learn. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if that one pays off. Three, We're two, going to small battlefield. One, it's interesting to see Ronnie be comfortable going to this uh, closer quarters fight against these crazy Aegis wielders. Yeah, they kind of just want to... I mean, there's two ledges here. That's all they're... That's the only place they're playing right now. Saves him. Did yeah. he save it? Uh, kind of. I think that was a save. Yeah, I feel you. Looked like it. It was a little low percentage, not necessarily a homie stock, but... But you can't save those, baby! The boy who lived, come to die. So crazy from Ronnie at the ledge right now. Looking dominant, and I said it earlier, but just looking villainous at ledge. Very scary to deal with. And, I mean, we're about to have a Sephiroth in winter semifinals, and that's a scary thing. Hopefully Juice is staying warm. Hopefully Juice got himself some juice left in the tank. Because Ronnie looking clean every single time at this ledge. Finds himself at the ledge, gets himself out. I'm trying to figure out if Ronnie got a Masamune at home to get these sword uh, yeah, concoctions right. figured out. He just, just get this basic right. Blade, yeah. an extension of his own body here. Oh, they, they, they basically... Flash there, and then Ronnie gets the second one. Man, this is dominant. The mass unit. I'm telling you. <laughs> he got the perfect spacing on it. Ooh. Gets back to ledge. Follows it up. Center stage. Sitting on that shield for a while. Bit of, bit of lag coming out from Jin here in the game three. Definitely would see him a bit more aggressive on that shield with his brain. is truly firing off all cylinders. Going to go to the F-tilt on this ledge get up from Ronnie. Not going to be enough. Dodges the explosions yeah. of this neutral B and uses the invulnerability frames on the ledge as well to continue dodging out on that pressure. Oh, oh damn Finds himself in a grab. Thought he was working on something there, but got him at 140. It's just so hard, man. It's 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 unlike any other fighting game to be down in Smash. You know, there is things you can do. There is stuff that uh, comes up frequently, and there is a kind of disposition you can have in your play that stops the other player. But sitting at a hundred and just trying to get around giant explosions right now is the hard part. Jin putting in the work he needs, but it's a long road. Nice cover up. Ronnie just needs a couple more hits here to go his way. Jin wants to catch him slipping on the ledge. No banana. Peel. 
Oh. Okay, beautiful stuff. Gets back to ledge. Clean. Back air is going to come out, though. Sending the 140. Does he have the ledge? He does have the denial. The Masamune is going to have a back air. It will be two games for Ronnie. I don't know if it's a mixture of, like, it just seems like he's he's recovering normally, and then he's halfway out there, and he's able to hit him with that sword. So I really don't know anything to say about that except for switch your map and recover low. It's, it's kind of like uh, watching Moxie on a wolf and seeing that wolf flash. Yeah. If he does understand the angle, knows where Timings. to put it, it's unreactable. Yeah. It's too quick. So yeah. and the distance it covers is very. Uh, Absurd as well. Yeah. It catches you off guard. I don't even want to so. check the frame data on that one. Man. Oh, I was just checking in. All I got to say is run away. <laughs> run away. You yeah, can't, 100% uh, the move here for Jin would be recover low for me because it does seem like Ronnie's starting to figure out. Uh, and Ronnie's recovering low as it is using his side beat to get back ever so slightly every time. So just throwing out, like almost playing Sephiroth like. Um, uh, I should say double door, but you know what I mean? Like Ganondorf, just so big, meaty hitboxes. Big, boxes. meaty hitboxes, yeah. Just, just fundies, just true fundies, calling you out on the fundamentals of the game and making it difficult for you to play it just like that. You think you could fall free? Oh, that's perfect. Ronnie. That's perfect. That's exactly nice. what he needs there. Uh, he gets back to ledge, he stops out as a bit of a gimp. For Jin, this is going back and forth. Good stuff. Just needs to rack up percentage here to make the lead matter. I love to see Jin sticking to this Pyramithra. It's been doing well, oh. and it's shown that it can win. And he's going to have a great mental moving forward if he's able to keep this uh, set underneath him as well. Because he has the Roy wins, he knows that those are easy to get. But if he's feeling comfortable winning against this high-level opponents like Ronnie today on the Pyramithra as well, he's gonna have a great time in that Grands yeah. because, or the Winners Finals because he'll have so many options in his pocket. Yeah, Both. my whole thing with Jin is he's you know so willing on uh, different things to say. Oh, that's all this uh, you know to say that he finished this or he finished that, but in the tournament, I really want to just give his all and not worry about that place. He is uh, seated and doing very well here to help himself, but just needs to stick it out. Right now, takes that first death, but a whole stock up. The greedy recovery is answered well by Ronnie, but exactly like you say, a full stock up. I, if you mentioned about the things you like to see from Jin and from Ronnie, I'd love to see a lot of these Mega Flares and Kendo Flares starting to connect. I feel like you have been playing well around them all day. Um, and it's just going to be a mix-up or a, a bit more of a using it as a checkmate as opposed to trying to force somebody into check. Yeah, it, do, it does seem exactly that way. It's, uh, Ronnie has ever so slightly started to move away from that ledge. Get himself in the center stage here, but yeah, I, I really felt strongly about how Ronnie was holding the, uh, you know, holding the wall up at ledge, but now it's just seeming like ever so slightly inching his way back into this game. Almost gets that, goes for it again, clashes up. If that's not called blade dance, it should be. My, my, my guy was dancing, dancing on the ledge, just slicing up the op, like hello, top op getting sliced, ooh, on return. Okay. It's up to Ronnie here to put together a 100 uh, hit combo, but throw that sword in a circle. Jin takes game two. We are in a best of five. That means one more game. I mentioned it was possible, and we are here. The final game between these two. Yeah, Jin. I mean, I hate to say it, but, you know, these commentators, they really know what they're talking about. Man. This is a blow for blow scenario here. Jin tip for tat. Making yeah. sure that he does take back those wins. Now, he's going to be on even footing, having to be the dictator of the win. He needs to now not respond. He has to go in that driver's seat, take Ronnie to the edge. And it's going to be a difficult fight as that Sephiroth is so devastating, especially on this Pokemon Stadium, too. Yeah, everyone's got a lot of practice here on Pokemon Stadium, but Ronnie picked this as his counter pick, so I have to imagine he's looking forward to staying on this ledge, but Jin just pressed a different button right now. He is in an absolute mood. I am on a whole nother level. Yeah, that's how it feels, man. Does take a little bit of damage there, unlucky, but yeah, comes out strong in this one. Jin looking to clean this stock up early. 
The quick frames are being abused. The Mega Flare whips and the Katambos continue. But just like that, we look down and we see that Ronnie has, with a few interactions, evened it up, at least for the time being. I mentioned it, and he is getting a little bit of a runaround yeah, I mean, on this Jin, left side of the match. Jin even taking a second to do a, a taunt there at ledge is just so unnecessary because Ronnie has been the ledge king. So definitely had a bit of a lead, but equaled up, as you said. He's going to switch up characters mid-dash. Beautiful stuff. Continues with another dash attack. Tries to cover the ledge himself. Finally, doesn't get hit by that. That's got to be hard to, to read. Oh, man, just tanks that eats it for breakfast. That's got to be a punish, yeah. Good stuff there. Just not expecting that to kill on the Mithra. Very interesting. It did have a bit of charge behind it, but not the amount I'd expect to kill Sephiroth. But that weight playing a huge factor. Didn't even need to bring out the fiery, blazing Aegis side of that sword. So, and great seems job. like he's a little shook here. I mean, obviously, you can say that when you're when, when Jin's up the stock here. But you can see him playing a little on his back foot. But beautiful Ooh. stuff. Just menacing at the ledge, to say the least. Beautiful. You dare return? You dare approach on me? Yeah, right? I'm poking you from a mile away. Ooh, Ooh that was charged. One, two, three, three four, four, five. Oh, he back. Oh, that he is did. broken in this matchup. Oh, he he keeps it going, Ronnie. Reversing what was a crazy lead yeah. established by wow. Jin. Are you kidding me, man? What do we do here? Oh, whoa! Almost gets that. Hey, so we're just not long enough. Probably something that you feel like Try the entire time you're here. facing, Ronnie. Gosh, these two have been going back and forth, man, and and that was so good from Ronnie to obviously take the momentum out of Jin's sails. I mean, he goes from taunting at the ledge in this match to being down one star. But how those down tilts did not connect, we'll never know. But does Ronnie take this and run with it? We will also find out quickly. Beautiful. No, he will get pirate. Kind of anyone's game here. That, uh, there's a little bit of a, a combo situation that needs to happen right now for Jin. Or, you know, later. You don't got to do it now. <laughs> Final life. I know, dude. Uh, Final all game. these games tonight, I don't know if it's just because I missed knockdown or blood, but... All these matches tonight have been amazing. It does seem like Ronnie's taking a step forward. Every time a step forward is taken, though, one is taking a step back. The Mithra stuff is happening. He's starting to get those small amounts of tick damage going yep. up and up and up. It goes over to the Pyra. Does he get the edge the guards? Not going to be quite yet. Going to be a ledge trap situation. He finds himself in. Ronnie playing at oh, the disadvantage, no. but gets center stage for both. Finds himself in the corner. Beautiful jump. And the oh, DI gosh. is good. The DI is down. It's enough. It's down and to the right. Oh, but the up air will not be able to be avoided. Great job by Ronnie to push Jin to the limit. But Jin yeah. gets the win. So crazy. That's how it works. That's how it rhymes. Ball don't lie.